What is going on guys? I'm Consumer Tech Review and today we're going to be finding out if the Logitech G502 is still a good gaming mouse in 2021. I'm going to take you through the unboxing and then I'm going to give the pros and the cons now in 2021. And if at any point during the video you guys want to pick up the G502 super cheap in 2021, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK and Canada. But let's get into that unboxing. Here's a timestamp if you want to skip it. All right guys, unboxing the Logitech G502, showing you that it has adjustable weights. Nothing really too fancy on it. Shows you you got a light sync. Let's open this up. Now lately, this mouse has become even more wanted because of the price that it is. Okay, so you get a Logitech logo in there. You get a Logitech showing different products, making you wanna buy more of their stuff. These are the weights down here and just some manuals over here and just a little tray. And this is the actual mouse, which Logitech just does such a good job with their mice. This thing just fits in your hand perfectly. It looks absolutely epic. It has the rubber kind of feeling, kind of plastic, but actual rubber feel. It has that cool triangle pattern on this side with a very rubbery, um, hard rubber feel, which I really like. Feels very premium. You have buttons right here, right there, right there, and right there. You have a ton of programmable buttons. You have that right there. You have another one there, which actually changes the wheel. So that goes between free flowing, and a tactile wheel, which Logitech does that so well. But here on the base is where you can actually put the weights in and out if you would like to do that, which I think is pretty awesome that Logitech has that. And especially for the money now, this thing used to be a lot more expensive, but now you can get this thing for 40 bucks. Let's get to the actual full review. And we are back, let's jump right into it. Now, if you guys don't know a lot about the Logitech G502, this mouse has essentially been out since 2014 and there's been updates of it and they changed the name of it and they changed the design just a little bit and they change out the sensors, but essentially it's relatively the same mouse and it's been the same mouse since 2014 and the wireless version just came out not that long ago in the whole time span of things since 2014. So in 2021, is the Logitech G502 the hero variant? That's the one that we're talking about today. Is that still relevant today? And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, absolutely, and these are the reasons why. Now the first reason is this thing retailed for 80 bucks. That is not the price what it is right now. A lot of times you can find this thing for 40 bucks or 50 bucks on Amazon. Check the link below to see how much it costs. But for half off what it was originally going for, that's a big deal. And you're talking about a brand new mouse. But this one has the Hero 25K sensor, which gives you 25,600 DPI, which is best in class, especially for the price point, over 400 IPS, you get everything basically. You're getting the top end basically of this price point because it's not really supposed to be in this price point, but it is now in 2021. They say it has 11 programmable buttons, but you're really only gonna be programming nine of them. That's still a ton and it doesn't look cluttered and everything is exactly in the right place. It's a very, very well-designed mouse. Of course it is because it's been out since 2014 and they've still continued this design, which is why Yes, it is one of the best mice in 2021 still, even though it came out in 2014, things have been updated. This thing has adjustable weights inside of it, which you don't see when you get all these other stats from other brands like HyperX, Razer, you don't get that. Now the build quality at this price point in 2021 is so amazing. It's so much better than other mice. It rocks some of the best qualities, some of the best ergonomics, and it just feels so good in your hands. One of the best made ergonomic mice out there. Really, really good. And this is absolutely the best scroll wheel in the price point and probably above the price point if any mouse I've ever used. It is metal and you can switch between a tactile bump and a just free will flying, which is so perfect. Now it is a mechanical switch, so it's not like the MX Master, how it's just electronic. However, I don't mind it at all, and you do want a little bit more precision when you do want to switch, and that makes it a little bit nicer to do that. Now, this is one of the best mice still in 2021, and it's because they over-designed this mouse to be perfect, to be a timeless design that all the way back in 2014, it still looks modern today. Now let's talk about what people don't like. People don't like G-Hub, which is Logitech's software to use this mouse. Now, I personally have used G-Hub a lot. I've used a lot of Logitech software, and G-Hub is amazing for me. It's probably my favorite software. Now, Razer Synapse is also pretty good, although it has its problems. I think Logitech G-Hub is way better by miles and leaps, so much better than Razer Synapse. You can easily make macros of the keys that you want, where you want your DPI to be. You can set different DPIs. Now, a lot of people have talked about 
oh, I don't like that you have to have four different DPI settings. You can unprogram the DPI changer in any of the buttons. So you set it to one and you just leave it. So a lot of people will complain about Logitech G Hub, but it's because they don't actually go into it and try to use it. If you don't want a software, this isn't the mouse for you. But most mice, you get a software and you use it with it. And if you want to actually get the most out of your mouse, use Logitech G Hub and use it to its fullest extent because there's so many awesome things, so many customizable things that you can do with this mouse through G Hub. I still think in 2021, this is one of the best mice to buy obviously through this video, that's what it is showing you. So if you guys do want to get one of the most premium mice at this price point, there's Amazon links below, get it for 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon, absolutely brand new. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below. And if you enjoy gaming tech reviews and tech reviews in general, I do a ton of those. So please consider subscribing. And we are about to do a top five budget mice video. It's going to be a big video and I'm putting a lot of work into it. That's why I've been doing mice review all through the past, you know, week. So definitely get ready for that. Thank you for 27,000 subs. We just hit 27,000 subs and we're already on our way to hit 28,000. We are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by June, 2021. So please, if you guys are not subscribed, help me get there and subscribe down below. Thank you for all your love and support. This was Consumer Tech Review and I'll see you guys later.